Well, former world champion Joseph Parker, middle of training camp a few weeks away. Um, Alex Leopi, the opponent, now that Eric Molina is out. How did the um, switch in opponents and size of opponents um, change up your training camp? Um, you know, we always knew that we had a fight in the June. And, you know, it's not good to get a last minute replacement. But we, you know, we know what the goal is. We want to get in there and whoever they put in front of us will take care of business. And so, you know, we've been adjusting a few things. You know, when we're doing pads and you know, a little shorter, but uh, it's still the same. You know, are going to get in there and work on the combinations that we have, execute the plan, and hopefully get him out of there. And your trainer, um, Kevin, he mentioned that you fought on his undercard when he fought Vladimir Klitschko yeah, about Germany, five years ago. 2014. Mm -hmm. And um, just usually there's a big rivalry, rivalry with New Zealand and with Australia. Australia. Yeah. It seems kind of funny that fight's happening here and didn't I happen know. before. <laughs> here in the States, yeah. Australia versus New Zealand, um, and Samoan versus Samoan. So mm -hmm. I think, you know, it's going to be, he's going to come out firing. He's got nothing to lose. You know, he's got a big overhand right. He's got a big left hook. So... I think um, the way the fight goes is that he's going to put pressure on the beginning. I don't think his fitness is the best. Um, well, it's the same, similar as mine. You know, I don't think it's the same as mine. But he's going to put on the best performance he can, and I want to go out there and break him down. And you know, the goal is to knock him out. The goal is for every fight from now on to knock him out. That's don't leave it in the done. Don't that's, leave it in the judges' hands. Nah, there's no, you know. Um, and if you if you get knockouts, man, you want to just, you know, be a bit more. People want to know a bit more about yourself, so. Uh -huh. This will be the first fight with um, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom and DAZN. How do you feel about your debut with them? Um, I feel good. I came back into this camp um, at fighting weight, so I didn't have to focus on losing weight in this camp. I focused more on, on skills and techniques and working on different things rather than losing weight. So that's been a joy. And um, I'm excited to be you know, linked up with Matchroom and DAZN and looking forward to, like I said, putting on a good performance. And uh, hopefully it's the beginning of you know, a long partnership. Because obviously they have um, Anthony Joshua, who's going to be busy, and they have um, Gillian White, who has a fight coming up. But I'm sure you want those um, rematches. Yeah, they, listen, they've got a good stable of heavyweight fighters. So our goal is to take care of business with these fights that we have and then ultimately face those guys again. We want to avenge the losses that we had to Gillian White and Joshua. So, and we know we can beat them. We know we belong at the top. We just have to show it and uh, get back there. You recently worked with um, alongside Tyson Fury. What did you think of his performance against Tom Schwartz? I Schwarz? think he put on a great performance. I think he did what he had to do to get uh, Schwartz out of there. You know, good movement, good defense. You know, he switched it up, South Orthodox, and I think it was a good welcoming fight for him here in Vegas. And uh, I think a lot of people were impressed. You know, the, the opponent wasn't the top opponent, but he did what he had to do to get him out of there. And the whole goal is to get him back in with um, Wilder. To make, they want to make that rematch. How do you think he fares in a rematch? Now that he's in better shape and back in the rhythm, you know, just <clears throat> those the, both of them will come back um, improved, and I mean they'll they'll study the tape today of the first fight and will come back a lot better. I think Fury will be a lot better, you know, because of the what he went through and you know he put on a good performance coming off those two little, no, the two wins that he had with Wilder, and I think the second time around he'll he'll sort of know what he's dealing with and he'll put on a better performance. So a lot of people say that the boxer can make better adjustments than the puncher, and obviously that would be Fury as the boxer yeah, in this case. Yeah, Fury's got better boxing skills, but um, the dangerous thing about Wilder is that he carries that power from the beginning to the end, so mm -hmm. it doesn't even matter you know, what part of the fight it is. If he catches you with the right hand, you're going down. And you are the only man to beat Andy Ruiz. How surprised were you, or were you surprised, when he beat um, Anthony Joshua? I think a lot of people were surprised of how the fight did finish. I think... Um, we, as a team, knew that he had the ability to, to win, but we didn't expect him to win like that. And mm -hmm. so for him, you know, we, we're happy for him, you know, and he made some history for Mexico and his family. And, you know, it was, it was a bit of a surprise, it was a bit of a shock, but, you know, he's, it was well-deserved. And I guess uh, with the rematch, we're just going to see who's going to come back and uh, who's going to be more improved with the rematch. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. You've been in with both men. Who do you think can make the better adjustments? Uh, you know, Andy's, for me, Andy's the more more skilled, you know, and he's, and he's got a, a big background in boxing, you know, amateur mm -hmm. and professional, so um, just depends, you know, I, and, and also Josh has got a great team behind him, so I'm sure they'll make the adjustments they need to make in, in uh, coming into the rematch. Do you think it's a mistake that Joshua wants to have the rematch here when he can have it back home in the UK and have a little bit more advantage? Um, I'm sure they wanted to have it back home. But I'm, I'm sure also that he wants to prove a point that he can come back here and beat uh, Ruiz where Ruiz beat him. So 
It just makes it a bit more exciting, you know, that it's going to be in the same place, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot more people uh, interested in attending the fight and watching. And uh, the plans to fight three times this year? Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, we want to keep busy. We had a slow start to the year. We had, uh, you know, five, six months off. So now that we, you know, we have this new deal and we know what we're aiming towards, you know, being champion or unified champion again, we want to keep busy until we uh, achieve the goals that we have.